And we're recording. I'm here with the amazing Fiona today, who was part of the incredible team that put together the London event. And Fiona was also, as I've just found out, in Arizona. So hi, Fiona. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm amazing. Thank you so much for doing this today. You're really welcome. Really welcome. So I would love to start by knowing... Um, kind of how you become to be in Arizona and the story of London that would be incredible to tell everyone okay so um the, when the book was launched I was lucky enough to to read the um pre-launch version um which was amazing I didn't finish it and, and Steve had asked everyone who was given that they had it for 30 days and then to delete it after 30 days. Um, and that, and that I was I was reading through and it, it had got to the chapter where um, Steve Chandler had invited somebody into Steve's office. And it was it was the chapter about being your word. And I suddenly thought, I wonder how long I've had this. And it was exactly 30 days when I went back to see when Steve had sent it to me. It was exactly 30 days. So I was like, I promised I would delete this after 30 days. So I had to delete it without finishing the book. So I was eagerly awaiting the publishing of the book so I could finish the, um, to finish the book. And after the launch, the Facebook group started. So I was one of the early uptakes in, in the face group, but, um, Facebook group. And then Judy announced the Arizona book launch. And I sat there and I thought, I would love to go to Arizona. And then I asked myself a really dumb question, which was, who goes to Arizona for a Sunday afternoon event from London? That's like, who does that? That's crazy kind of thing. And I talked myself out of going because it was just a three hour event, it was too far, it was costly. You know, there was a, a whole load of things that I brought up as reasons why I shouldn't go to Arizona. And I thought that was it. And um, then Matt Smith put out his call to action that he wanted to put one together in London. So I jumped on that and I thought, well, that's fantastic because I'll be involved in the London event and I, I don't need to go to Arizona now. And it came round to New Year's Day and I was talking to my partner um, about the London event and being involved in the team of creating London. And we, my partner and I talk about a lot, you know, he supports me brilliantly and we, we talk a lot about our stuff, but I you know I don't share every single detail of what's going on in my, my life and work with him. And He'd seen me reading this book, and but I hadn't really talked to him very much about it all. And uh, and he went, okay, why, just wind back. What's this Arizona event then? And I said, oh, they're doing a book launch in Arizona, but we're going to do one in London. And it's, and he went, you need to be in Arizona. And I was, it was quite an unusual thing for him to do to be so. So what, what do you mean? He said, you need to go to Arizona. And I knew that and Nick and Ryan from the Giants were going to be in Arizona and I'd been doing some work with them. And he was like, well, who's going to be there? And I was like, well, Nick and Ryan will be there. There'll be loads of other people, um, a few people that I know from other, other, and he was just like, you need to be in Arizona. What, what, what's stopping you? And I gave all the excuses, playing small, you know, oh, who goes to Arizona for you know, three hours. And uh, he just kept on saying, you, you need to go. So I went onto the um, Eventbrite site to buy a ticket, sold out. So I was like, ah. But by this point, I decided I was going to go to Arizona. And kind of in my head, I thought, well, I'm just going to go. And if I have to hang around outside the, the hotel and get somebody to get me in, I will do it. Um, but I, I put out a, a call in the Facebook group saying um, that I wanted to create a miracle of, of creating a ticket for that event in the idea that maybe somebody had got a spare or somebody couldn't go or maybe somehow somebody would come up with a ticket for me. And Judy mes messaged me and she said, I have a I have a ticket for you. 
So book your flights. So I, that was on New Year's Day and, and the event was on the 23rd of January. So I jumped through lots of COVID hoops to get myself on a flight and get myself out to Arizona. And it was, I was there for five days and it was one miraculous event after another over that five days. It, that event changed the trajectory, not just of my life, but who I am and how I play in this life. So it was, um, Everything from people I met, the, the, the things I did surrounding the event, then the event, and then what happened after the event, it, it was, it, it, I couldn't put my finger on one thing, but it was just in a flow of constant leveling up, creation, possibility, so many things shifted for me in that in that in that period right from deciding i'm going to go becoming the person who does go to arizona for 3 hours or for a 3 hour event to creating such magical things at the event and during that time and then bringing all of that into creating London, knowing that miracles, when you commit to something, miracles happen. And there were certain things that Steve said in his, um, in his talk in Arizona. The first one was the power is in the listener, how you listen to things, how you the filters you have to what's being said or what you're experiencing gives you all the power in the world, how you hear things. Um, the second thing was about love. It was about learning to love yourself. Um, and self-love was something that I hadn't really I didn't have an awful lot of self-love, to be perfectly honest. So that was revolutionary for me to dive into the power of self-love. Um, and commitment, how when you commit to something, it behaves like a black hole and everything just falls in, into the black hole. It draws and sucks whatever's needed to that point. So I think those three things were the things that really impacted me and and changed the trajectory of my life that's absolutely incredible and what's absolutely coming to me there is is anybody that has the opportunity to go to india and would just make that commitment to go just that decision right there is going to change yeah. everything that's if you feel the calling if you if there's that little bit of you that goes I'd love, I'd love to be at that. Listen, listen to it. Listen to what you're being told and go. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's impactful. Uh, and I, I didn't know how I was going to get to India, but I knew for sure I was going. And now it's all starting to fall into place. Yeah. And it, in fact, on that, on the 1st of January, when I, when I committed to going to Phoenix, um, not only did Judy message me to say she had a ticket for me, somebody else messaged me as well. Somebody I didn't, I knew, but I didn't know well at that time. And they said, I feel so passionately about you going. I will pay your flight. Now, I, I actually didn't take them up on it because I didn't need to. Um but that was the power of that commitment, was that somebody actually offered to pay for my flight to go. So you you just don't know what miracles are out there unless you put yourself 
unless you open yourself up to possibility, you have no idea what's what's waiting for you on the other side. That is incredible. Mm. And I, I would guess, as being one of the organisers of London, you must have heard a lot of stories about how the events have changed people's lives. Yes. Yeah, it was a whirlwind. The, the day itself in London, certainly for um, Matt Evans and I, because we were we were very much still working to ensure the event happened we weren't sitting in the audience particularly we were we were running around doing all sorts of things um, and overseeing it all so we probably viewed the event slightly differently from the people in the audience um but yes we have had so much feedback from people who were there um it was it was an incredible event it just you know it it took some it took some miracles to get that. I mean, we had so little time. I mean, from the day that Matt decided, Matt Smith decided he wanted to do the event to selecting the date, the 21st of April, it was less than four months. And to put on a, an event of that size normally takes a lot longer than four months. Um, so it was, a, it was a miracle in its own self that, that it actually happened in the way that it did. And yeah, I was I was at a networking event recently. Um, it was an award ceremony actually for my partner's business. He was nominated for an award, and we just arrived and we were just standing at the bar having a drink and looking around to see who we knew. And a lady came rushing up to me. She was like, "Hi!" And I thought I must know who you are, but I I don't recognise you. You know, you know that blank moment where you think, "How do I know this person?" She went, "You don't know me." I, but I know who you are. You were on stage in London and I was in the audience. And then she went into how it had changed her life and how much um, how much had happened for her. So, yeah, there's all sorts of amazing things that um, that have happened to all sorts of people that were there. Um, and people made a huge effort to get there. From We had people from the States there. We had people from all over Europe there. You know, people travelled long distances to get themselves into that. Yeah, we're, we're hearing so many stories about people who they created that commitment and that miracle just followed. And that it doesn't end. It didn't end for me. It didn't end for all of them. It just, that miracle just kept, it mm. keeps feeding into us. It keeps, it's in the conversation. It keeps growing and expanding and continuing so you were there weren't you in in london you were in the I audience and, and and i was in the position of i didn't know anybody that day and i've kind of said since if i walked back into that room now i wouldn't walk into a room of strangers i'd walk into a room of incredible friends who have become just a huge part of my life since then yeah. and what other event ever gives you that and what has come of that I can't it's just it's just huge I couldn't even yeah. put all of it into words it's so big it's just yeah. changed everything what was the highlight for you of that day I'm curious it was the feeling in the room the energy and all of the speakers and every single person who was on stage was incredible but for me it was the absolute energy mm -hmm. in that room of all of those people who are in that kind of space of creativity, you can't help but be drawn into it and something is unlocked. Mm -hmm. And that I'll, I'll let you into I don't it's not really a secret because I have a, I think I did post about it a long time ago in, in the Facebook group. Um but just before the doors opened and everyone was outside, I grabbed Matt Smith, um, a fellow, a fellow sorcerer. And uh, we played a piece of music called All That I Am, very loud on the sound system. And Matt and I walked the whole room. We space cleared that whole room, setting intention for it to be a magnificent day and a magnificent experience for, for the being of every, everybody in that room. 
we walked down every aisle of every, all the seats between all the seats for the whole of the five minute song, just clearing the the space and and making it just charging it with the intention that this was going to change lives as an event. Um, it was and it was a very it was a very special moment actually, and it was just shortly before the doors went up and everyone charged in like it was opening day at the Harrods sale. <laughs> so my, I didn't actually know that, but what does stick in my mind is just before the doors open, from the creation team, we heard this huge cheer go up and then the doors open, and that's what I remember of that. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Amazing. So, so thank. Just to finish, um, have you got a message for anyone that's still not decided to go to India? If if you feel that it's if it's if it's a calling for you, don't hesitate. Book the ticket. Go. It will that commitment to to getting yourself into that room, and it and it won't be a repeat of London. It, the Indian team are putting together their own unique event. So it won't be like Phoenix, which wasn't like London. They're, they're all completely unique. Um, so don't go expecting a repeat of maybe what you've seen before if you have been to one of the other three events. It will be its own magnificent event. If you get it, if you have that feeling in your soul, in your gut, that there's something there for you. It won't just be the event that changes you. It will be creating yourself to be at the event. It's the whole journey from the moment you say yes to all the preparation, to all the work you'll do between now and getting yourself there. And then it will be after the event that will you will you will reap the rewards of, of that commitment. So if it's in you to... I want to go, but the first the first step is is buying the ticket to the event. Then you can sort the flights out and all the rest of it. Buy your ticket, get yourself over there. Amazing! Thank you so much. I completely resonate with what you just said. It's just absolutely reflected that way in my experience. So thank yeah. you, thank, thank you so much for having me on. Thank you.